all sports. Making sure the stream's coming through all right. We'll get rolling here tonight. Thanks for joining us. Hope everybody's staying safe, staying healthy. Okay, video's coming through. Let's see what we got. Like, you can uh, feel free to interact with us in the chat. Looks like that's coming through on Periscope, YouTube, Facebook. All right. So with uh, without any further ado, we'll get rolling. Again, feel free to interact with us. Hope you all are doing well, staying healthy amid this uh, very, very strange time. Um, yeah, it's just weird. It's weird. Um, I don't know much else to say about it, but I uh, always find some some comfort in stability and uh, flipping through some, some vintage cards. I, I hope you do the same. And, uh, we'll do a little bit of that together tonight. As we uh, dive into our 55 Bowman set break. Hey, Derek. How you doing? Good to see you in the chat. So 55 Bowman, of course, got your kind of TV, 50-style TV design. Lots of people love the set. Lots of people would rather leave it than take it. But man, it just reminds me of my uh, my grandparents' old TV that I used to sit and watch uh, watch TV with my with my grandmother growing up. But uh, I didn't grow up in the fifties. But my grandmother was the kind of the kind of lady that. You buy uh, you buy a TV and uh, it's, you're gonna use it till it till it doesn't work anymore. And uh, that Joker never broke. Um, all right, so we'll get rolling here. 55 Bowman is a great set. So if it's your first time joining us, give you a quick rundown of how we do things. So we use random.org for all our randomization purposes. You can go to random.org, listen more list randomizer and so what we'll do is we've got 320 cards in the set we sold 319 spots and gave one away so every spot gets a card congrats to Pat Wigington for getting that free spot on social media giveaway and uh, so what we'll do is we'll we'll randomize this list of 320 names so we'll paste it right here randomize it three times so it's nice and shuffled up then we will copy that randomized list, paste it right next to our checklist. So whoever's name comes out of the random in spot number one gets card number one, Hoyt Wilhelm. Whoever's name comes out number two is Alvin Dark. Whoever's name comes out 202 gets Mickey Mantle. Okay, Mick, number two. So that's how that goes. Now we won't read through all 320 cards. I've picked out, oh, 30 or so hits here that we'll look at, as well as some fun fun cards, uh, like the, some of the umpires. Depends on what you consider a hit, but, but they're pretty tough if you ever built this set and uh, you don't have many umpire cards, so we'll look at some of those as well. And then I'll post, I'll sort, the, sort our list by participant, post that list up on the website, email out a link to it, post it on social media so you can see exactly which cards you get commons included. Hi. Hey. hey Bob. Absolutely. All right, so without any further ado, we'll get to the random. So here's random number one.
three. All right, so it'll be this third time that sticks. Once that goes back here. Delete these extra cells, so we're lined up one to one. All right. Make this a little bigger. Right. Okay, I'm done fiddling with that. So, let's roll. Spot number one. Hoyt Wilhelm. Next to Dustin Norton. Here's Wilhelm. Card number one in the break. Got our some of our some of our TVs have a lighter border. All the others a little darker grain. The mick. Like this design a lot myself. So, next hit we'll look at is number ten. Phil Rizzuto goes to Jeremy Mariquin. There is Scooter. Got Roy Campanella coming up next at card number 22. Goes to Jesse Ellis. PSA 5 on the Campy. Campy in his prime there in the Brooklyn Dodgers. And next card is our next hit. Next card in order, number 23. Al K-Line goes to Joey Plumley Again, PSA 5 on the K-Line. As far as condition goes on this set, it's uh, not the most consistent. There's probably a couple of dozen cards that are real worse for the wear, but then there's some really, be really, really beautiful examples. Um, K-Line, Campanella, you'll see some of the umpire cards we've got graded are fives and sixes as well, so some some really really classy cards. Um, got Nelly Fox coming in at number thirty three. Goes to Derek Peaster. There you go, Derek. Of course, this is Bowman's uh, last set as an independent company. Top spot out Bowman. This was their last release. Tops, you know, took up using the Bowman name again in uh, the late eighties. So Pee Wee Reese comes in at thirty seven. Goes to Jeffrey Gone. Another hit there for you, Jeffrey, with early win, coming in at card number 38. And Whitey Ford. He's number 39, I believe. Goes to Randy Jones. Jeffrey Carlson. We've got 89. Goes to Fred Anderson. Now 
This is one of my favorite Ed Matthews card. Ed takes us over, card number 100, so he's at 103. There's two, Anton. Nice bold colors. Got Richie Ashburn coming in. Feller. Feller's at 134. That goes to Paul Rons. Hit the clear thumb. Don Newton. 143. Goes to Derek Feaster. Here we go again, Derek. Love the color. Coming in at 158, to Jeffrey Gone. Scout, show the scout run there for you fans. Speaking of Yankees, goes to Joseph Cerullo. Robin Roberts, he's one of those that uh, he's a little worse for the wear, as you see. Goes to Derek Feaster. Aaron comes in at 179. Goes to Dustin Norton. Again, I think it's that darker wood grain with a little bit of hint of red in it that just off makes the red. We got Willie Mays at 184. Goes to Derek Feaster. Derek. Mays. Classy, classy card. All right. We got Lemon, 191, goes to Joseph Sarullo. And George Kell, at 213, goes to Matt. And 232. Tebbets drew out. I actually didn't check these to see if any of them were the error variation. If you do that, if you get one of them. Um, got some misspelled names and such. Correct. All right. Ernie Banks, PSA 5, goes to Jeffrey Gone. Nice break for you as well, Jeffrey. Nice hit on the back. PSA 5. Pink Bauer goes to Angelo Torreo. Pink Bauer, he's also a PS. Nice example. If he's ever, ever tried grading any of these, those corners are what, what knock it down, or the edges on this wood grain show wear really easily. Because that's a white border, it doesn't show up near as best. It ends up as a six. It's a really nice card. Um, here's another one of the nice, nicer cards. Speaking of sixes, this is a six. It's one of those that when when another set with a seven, because man, that's just a little bit of wear on that bottom left corner. But 262 is PSA six. Goes to Greg Ritzer. Did commons in this set. Most of those are fives and sixes. All right, here's where our first umpire card. Barley goes to if you're a kid in 1955 and you open a pack of baseball cards and get an umpire, kind of you just toss it. All right, 267. Let me say these guys' names, but another umpire here. This one's an SGC five and a half. Looks a little surprised. Do you know? Oh, me? Alright, and Charlie Neal. Take that, Neal. Bill. 
Cavaretta goes to John St. Martin. Whoops. No. I don't have a cap. Okay. Yeah. 283. Uh, so, Chilak, umpire, goes to David Garrett. And these umpire cards are just not about it. Gorman. Gorman's 293. J.R. Scobie. And uh, you don't care for the umpire cards, folks. Open your common box. They're not just an anomaly for those of us who are set builders out there. All right, got to wrap up the break here with a few more hits, a few more graded cards, a few more umpires. Warren goes to Mark Witowski. PSA 5. And we've got England at 301. On. I didn't show the mantle. So I don't know if y'all noticed it when I glanced over him earlier, but uh, he's he's just hiding out down here. We're gonna we're gonna circle back and look at him last. So him last, but so serve goes to Joseph Cerullo. Conlon is 303. So he goes out of order too. John St. Martin. Nellie's 303. Michael Swafford. He looks serious. Very serious. Goes to Charles Bailey. Al Dixon goes to Jeffrey Gone. PSA 6 on this umpire card. Again, really, really nice example. They just, these wood board, wooden borders just really show the, show any little minor wear. Donatelli's 313. One of the tougher ones goes to Angelo Torreo. PSA 4 on him. Uh, Hubbard, who is the manager of the umpires, PSA 4, number 315. They have like a book value, I think, on Hubbard's like 80 to 15, which is crazy for an umpire, but kind of reflects how tough they are. And then, uh, last card in the set, good old George. I don't know how to say George's last name, Suki. Charles Bailey. All right, now, skipped over Mr. Mick. If, uh, if you're picking a 50s all on a budget, I think a 55 Bowman's your best bang for your buck. This one here is a two and a half at, at a PSA. So, really underrated card, in my opinion. No 55 top, so Mr. Mick goes to Joseph Cerullo. Nice hit for you, Joseph. Nice break, everybody. Man, love, love flipping through these vintage cards. Hope that, uh, hope that I can remind you all of, of simpler times, just the joy of being a kid, collecting cards, and, uh, Hope you all stay safe out there. Look for these to get sorted and shipped out over the next couple of days. And uh, we have another set break going up middle of the week this time. So bump it up a couple of days and uh, we'll, we'll squeeze out a couple extra ones. So it should be good fun. So keep an eye out for those. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for buying in. This is Burl signing off.